Hello everyone, Sorry here and today we are going to play Akshan, Varus and one Sever. We're running two Varus and one Sever in the deck. Sever is annoying on turn 4, also she has a spell shield, quick attack. So she can be very annoying on the board. It's also if you level her up, you can benefit from the Absolver we run. This is a mid-range deck, not very popular but it has been in the meta for a while. I think Varus Pantheon kinda was way more popular than this. And then Aatrox kinda dominated and this just couldn't... Like, it didn't shine. But on the matchup table, it has really good matchups. It beats Shadow Owl decks like Trundle Trendamir, which is really popular. It beats Vagar Nora, any Swarm deck, uh, Shadow Owl Swarm deck. Jinx Lulu, it has a close to even matchup. So it is winnable. It is a tough matchup, but it is winnable, which is why... Uh, it's a good choice for ladder. You don't like automatically lose to Jinx, uh, Jinx Lulu. What's the idea of the deck? Of this deck, you want to get your action early on. Obviously, you want to put the landmark on the board. Start working on getting Warlord's Horde. You have stuff like uh, Dark and Blood Letter, and we have another weapon, the Swinging Glaive, to kind of accelerate your action. We also have a way, like we have a tool to draw Varus. That's why we're only running two, because we are going to draw Varus once we play uh, cultist spells. We have a lot of cultist spells, like a mostly momentous choice, because it does trigger twice. You have to play three of them. We have also strike, and we have uh, freeze, unforgiving cold. But usually, momentous choice does a lot of work for you to draw your Varus. Once you draw your Varus, you put them on the board, you level them up, and that every time you play a spell, he's gonna gain a lot of damage, and you, from there you set up uh, your wink one. Uh, this will help us with the horde, warlord's horde. This is very helpful because usually you can either revive your Varus if you need to. You can give, uh, you can draw more cards, or you can give spell shield and plus two plus two your champion. So if you give spell shield to your Varus, he becomes you have an extra protection layer, harder to kill harder to freeze so you can end the game on just that one turn uh but yeah that's pretty much the idea of the deck set up everything try to win with the varus there are also occasions where you play with you win with the sever or you could also action if you have this early on you could actually turn action into pretty annoying unit with a lot of uh, stats on him unforgiving call just to freeze and slow down your opponent right of negation for Protection from Vengeance, you can also shut down Field the Rush play, uh, can be very useful. Uh, but yeah, we will take this to ladder and we'll see how it goes. Without further ado, here we go. Alright, we're against Jinx Lulu. Uh, this is a tough matchup. Kinda close, like really close matchup. I kinda tempted to keep this, but if I don't have a unit along with it, it kinda sucks. So maybe we'll just uh, look for units. Sever is really good, but I want my early units. Like one drops, two drop. No one drop though, unfortunately. Oh, we just pass here, nothing really to do. And no action, which also sucks. Vagabond is nice. So hopefully no Lulu, they did high roll the attack token, so they do have the, the good attack token. Uh, and they do have a chomper, so hopefully no Lulu in their hand. It does look like a Lulu. Uh, it sucks. So I guess we're hoping they don't have a way to discard this. It's only Poro Cannon. If they have the Poro Cannon, they pretty much had all the cards they needed. That's really good. They don't have it. We can pick off this Lulu. Yeah, pick off this Lulu. I'm just uh, thinking about what to play around. Because there is Mystic Shot, there is Get Excited, right? So... They do have answers. Play this here. 
or here just to get uh, something on the board maybe I'm just not sure if I'm gonna need the damage for later maybe we, get, we can get a unit on the board if I play this here but I don't think I'm gonna do it anymore uh, I'll just swing here like this actually thinking about it now I probably should have buffed this up because we want to strike maybe with this so we got the get excited we play momentous now this is perfect for us yeah i probably should have played it here just for the strike we'll see if they have another lulu or a jinx maybe This is a bit annoying But they could still have a Lulu in their hand, right? I'm not sure if I want to play around it. I think I'll just pass and we'll see Okay, no Lulu. We can jump Varus now It's a bit scary. An end to war. Dropping down to nine. I guess nine is still kind of fine. I need to maybe look for my uh my action I can't set up lethal with this guy right? it's kinda impossible mm. do this so I play one jumpstone here. Another jumpstone puts me at eight, nine damage. There goes my electricity. Uh, hopefully it comes back soon. Let me draw. I don't think I'm gonna go for the level up now. It's either freeze or action. I think it might be the freeze or right of negation. I guess. I actually like the right a little bit. Maybe it was actually freeze. I'm not sure. I'm not too sure. Uh, but yeah, everything swings. What are we doing? But I need to keep mana for my gemstone. Yeah, for my strike. I mean. All right, all right. They're they're blocking. But yeah, thinking about it now, maybe it was actually uh, the freeze. It does look like a jinx. Let's kill her real quick. Does it matter where I strike? If I strike here, I mean, I'm gonna potentially block with the virus anyway. It don't really matter. We're just hoping they don't level her here. They could level her with uh, with the Poro Cannon and still have mana to play the the thing. Unfortunate. We're still fine. We are still fine. So next turn we take 2 damage to face uh, We're at 5 HP, we take 2 damage We're down to 3 So we lose to get excited Yeah
I mean, we have right of negation for got excited. We're kind of fine. Uh, the problem is my hand is very, very awkward here. I'm hoping they don't have another Jinx, I guess. Why not? I guess they don't care too much. Alright. Alright, uh, so we need to pull and try and get as much uh, damage on this guy as possible. The only way I lose is through a get excited. So this should be somewhat enough. We are one of that's kind of the problem here. Uh, yeah, we're one of. Unfortunate. So if they have a get excited, we lose. Uh, they, we already saw one get excited, so we'll see if they have another one. And. Oh, I'm not sure what's happening. Could be a mystic shot, but yeah. I'm hoping it's not that get excited, because it's really sad if you're just dropping me like that. Uh, I mean, it's, I guess it's Winnicorn. But if it is a get excited, you should just end the game. Okay. Alright, GG's, GG's. So they, they went with the Winnicorn of baiting me and oh unfortunately it didn't work out for them uh very close game gg's gg's all right we are against kane atrox difficult matchup i think uh but it's actually really difficult because they do have freezes right so they can freeze my virus we also have refreezes and retaliation but the problem is kane is way too annoying and they do have uh, they do have strike spells as well I think we need a weapon and we should be kinda okay. This weapon is annoying though. I might sack my Akshan into it though. I don't want to take 5 damage and I have a second Akshan. So I think it's kinda fine. 6 damage actually. I like going Vagabond. Must be nice living off stolen coin. I don't want to play this action yet until like I'm so uh, I'm kind of close to leveling this. No units. So probably next turn we play it. Not next, not this turn. The, the turn afterwards, most likely. Hmm. That's a problem. Let's play this. They could play an annoying weapon on it. And this is somewhat doable. I can block it here. Momentous choice is a problem, right? Okay, no momentous. So they have a K a K now, right? Because of this. Taking so much damage. Okay, probably dropping next turn. The problem is, how do we kill this game? Don't think we can. And if I play Akshan, he doesn't really achieve too much. I'm gonna see if he plays a cane here. Weapon is nice. Take the cheap one. Maybe we can play a strike or something.
Hmm. I'm not gonna try and kill him this turn since I, I technically can't. I can push for damage phase without really pulling him, and we'll see. We'll see what we do later. I do have a weapon, so we'll allow this, I guess. Play the weapon here, so we can do strikes if needed. And I can jump this. I'm still keeping mana for a strike. Perfect. Yeah, we set up everything. And the opponent just didn't respect this. We took two cards out. And we predict here. Look for maybe another weapon. This is a good weapon. We we'll take it. So Aatrox might drop right. How many weapons did they play? They played two. I'm not sure if they drew the Aatrox. Maybe they didn't. I could open here. But this is so good if we get it online. Alright, so no Aatrox. Maybe a strike incoming, so I'll keep 5 mana open. Or maybe they want to block here. Also, probably a consideration, right? So I could develop. I could develop. Let's play this, see what we get. I like another action. A lot of passing. I'm assuming they have maybe a strike. Uh, I don't want to play this. I push a lot of damage if I play this technically. So I'm assuming they want to block here. And maybe they have a momentous choice into a strike or freezes. <laughs> they could have freezes, which is fine. Like, they don't really kill here, so I'm not sure why block here even. It doesn't make sense. Unless they want to kill him with a cane, which is also fine by me, right? We push some good damage here. That's fine. I can't play this right now, so it's just a pass for now. They might prefer killing these. I was considering sacking this action, but no, I think this is the best play here. Mm. Okay, let's see what the opponent wants to do here. Play freeze. Momentous choice would suck. Uh, yeah, momentous choice would actually really suck. Do they have it? Maybe they have it. Let's see. I don't want to play around it, but if they have it, it's kind of bad for me here. Okay, we got we got super lucky. Uh, but yeah, it was kind of doomed from there. We also had the Varos, so. I don't think they could have made any way of a uh, comeback anymore. But they didn't play around anything. I, at the end, I didn't play around the momentous choice because they're not playing around anything. I'm not going to respect them anymore. But GG is GG is a really close game. All right, we are against Field of Rush. I think No, I don't think this is Field of Rush. It's, I think it's uh, the Watcher, like the main wing con. Uh, what do we want? 
look for Varus. And I think I can keep this. This is probably really annoying. I can keep the Vagabond though to get the landmark. In Not the Varus, I meant the Akshan. Look for the Akshan. Uh, but this does the kind of the Akshan job. I do need a, land, uh, a weapon though. Because if we can find the weapon, we activate uh, this thing's uh, scout. None of these are weapons. Let's skip. Hopefully, we can find one. Interesting. Do they have a brittle steel or something? No. Uh, usually you want to save this until you play a weapon, but I wanted to stop the ramp slowing down, right? Uh, it was worth it. Slowed them down significantly. Hopefully our top deck is a, is a weapon. The one mana weapon would be nice. No. Uh, I guess I could jam this. It doesn't die to avalanche or anything. Doesn't have scout, but it still can can make a good swing. If they pass here, they might have the five. Yeah, they have the five mana ramp, so I'm gonna waste them, waste it for them, and just pass. And we'll see what we draw here. All right, let's play this here. And let's see if they want to swing with this. If that's still fine. Fate stone. Play this. I can still shape stone. They, they're not respecting anything, to be honest. It's very odd. An end to war. Drop down to 2 HP. Uh, drop down by 2 HP. I'm just thinking if it's worth it. I guess it's fine. Yeah, they're not respecting anything, they're just going in. I'm not sure why. Let's see if we get the weapon. No. I guess it's just an all-out swing here. I could develop one more unit, but maybe they play a Trundle or something would be a bit annoying. Can't really kill it. I'm just scared of the five mana. I mean, that's kind of annoying. I was scared more of the avalanche one, not the, the healing one. Uh, I'm not sure what to do here. I think it's just the pass. I don't really have anything. Maybe we should have played the gemstone just to push more damage. All right. Uh, my internet crashed, so I fixed it now. I think everything is working. Is the recorder recording? Yes, everything is working. Uh, nothing happened. We, they played the Ice Pillar and I played this in retaliation and that was mostly it. I don't really have any cards to play here, so it's just a pass for now. I'm assuming they want to swing. I need to kill this. And I guess we can chomp block this. I wonder if they have something here as an answer. But like, a freeze would suck for them, right? Yeah. I do have an action top deck. We we did predict into him. But... Yeah, this isn't looking too good for me right now. Because they can't play field rush next turn. I don't really have a right of negation. If they have failed the rush, I'm not sure if they even run it. But if they do have it, we are kind of doomed here. So hopefully we don't see it. Okay, so this is the second trundle now. Uh, let me play a gemstone here so this doesn't die to an avalanche. And this. I'm gonna try, try to look for a weapon if I can find one. It 
does look like a weapon. I like the strike as well, but I think the weapon makes most sense here. They could have a freeze for this guy. Uh, if they do freeze, I'll probably play the momentous choice or something. Okay. So what do what are we looking for? Uh, a challenger maybe? No, overwhelm isn't bad. Give him one jumpstone here. And I'm threatening momentous choice, right? And everything strikes, I think. Push as much damage as I can. Maybe they have a freeze here. Or three sisters and give it a plus four health. That also works for them. Or that. Uh, I mean that's fine. That means no field or rush next turn. So I will take it. I don't think I save this action. I could save him just to draw a Varus, I guess. Probably worth it. Not entirely. Uh, maybe the Varus is worth it. Uh, I, actually, I'll just pass. It's fine. It is okay. They actually... D I guess the ramp isn't important for them. But they do go down to 9. Oh no, they're still at 10. They're still at 10. Maybe they try and kill this. I'm just scared of the 9 mana and tomb everything. So I'll wait a little bit. See what they do. Oh, that might be a problem. On the... On the bright side, they don't have... Uh, they don't have Alessandra yet. I don't want to play anything because if I play this Varus, they're gonna pull it with this, and that's not good. I should keep this alive. Stand with me. Okay, we can jump Varus now. We'll play this one so they don't know what this is. And maybe I'll look for a quick attack or something like that. Yeah, quick attack is nice. A gemstone is also nice. I might go card draw next turn. Uh, the freezes are a bit annoying though, but we'll go card draw and see what we can find. Or I could go this, which is also not bad, I guess. Uh, everything's kind of annoying, to be honest. I don't think I have lethal on the open, so I'll make this strike first and then we'll see what happens. The only problem is that if they have like avalanche and stuff like that, it might be a bit annoying. All right, let's see what happens here. Do this. Is this enough? 
without needing to play the absolver yeah nice perfect i don't want to play the absolver until they jam stuff right I'm gonna play here because this can get frozen, but this is harder to freeze. We we are at max on Varus. We won't gain anymore. Right. GG's, GG's. Alright, we are up against deep. Uh I could keep Varus, but I'd rather find Akshan here. So I'll just keep the Forsaken Bakai and look for the Akshan. Cause Akshan gives me the landmark. And we start working on on getting the landmark faster we'll skip there is nothing we want here i want to swing here because they might have a unit uh, the 2-3 unit next turn that allows them to toss every time a unit dies so might as well just take the trade here Unfortunately, no Akshan, but we still have the Vagabond here, which somewhat does the job. And this kind of good, uh, good top deck. Merciless Hunter, good for Maokai if they play it on turn four. The only problem is that uh, I'm tempted to make a swing here. Well, I guess we can just kill, see what they get. The only problem with a Maokai dropping is even if I pull him, they can, like, even if I play Mercy Santa, they can play Val Feast and get something, right? Not what we want at all. I'll just skip here. I'd play this. I'll see if they want to Val Feast here or something. I could do it like this. I could even do it here just to get the, the thing, the weapon again, right? This is somewhat fine. I don't think I want to shape stone here. I'll just let it happen. I do want to kill this though. Slows down with their tossing stuff. Alright. I guess there was a consideration to wait one more turn in case they play a Maokai here. Well, they would have played Maokai last turn if they had him, right? That's uh, a new. Usually they don't run this. Let's just pass here. Their sea monsters are very cheap now. So they're kind of in control. All right, let's make blocks. If they have a ball feast here, I'm very happy. Play a vagabond. Okay. Got the virus. They probably want to play. Uh... They want to play Nautilus maybe this turn. Yeah. Or that. Uh, I could write it. I'm not sure if it's worth it though. Probably not. Just let it happen. Uh, this is awkward here. I'm giving him a free kill here, but I want to, I want to play this in the hopes I can draw into something useful.
Probably a bit late for Akshan, but we'll see. It's gonna take a while to level now to get this landmark online. And like, I can't revive the Varus because he got obliterated. He doesn't die, did he? Yeah, so our big hope right now is that they don't have a Maokai. That's kind of the only hope. Looks like a Maokai. So that's not good. I'm not sure what to do. Looks a bit rough. I do have this to somewhat push some damage. I'm just not sure if I can push enough to end the game. I do have shape stone and stuff like that, so maybe I can do stuff. We'll see. Right now I'm not dead, and I have freezes to buy me some time, right? So... It's somewhat doable still. Uh, if I jam all of them, how much damage am I pushing? 8... 10 damage... It's not enough. Right, it's not enough. Yeah. The problem here is, like, I make the block, right? Replay her. I still need to survive. So maybe they don't have an... I mean, they're gonna draw a Nautilus next turn, 100%. The problem is Nautilus is, is a problem once he's on the board. I can do freezes, block the Nautilus. Shouldn't you be pulling weird? Shouldn't you be pulling this though? Okay, we have. I have a play. I have a play. I'm not sure if it's gonna work out though, but it is a bit scary. It's a bit hard actually. So, what we do is... Oh, a strike. Huh. Okay, so what we do is play this... this. I have to revive. Which gives... Oh. I can't really play this. Like this. And... I have to jump all of these. While keeping... No, not all of them, just one more. And I keep Rite of Negation mana. In case they have... A Vengeance. Or Atrocity, maybe, we'll see. Or that. So I have to do this. They do have one more Nautilus. I'm not sure if it's in their hand or in the deck. But, yeah, they could. They have a lot of answers. Uh unfortunate. We tried. We have tried, but... I don't think there's a comeback from here, right? Can I survive the attack? No, not even that. Alright, GG's. A uh, very close game. We tried our best. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I will see you the next one. Take care and goodbye.